Estimating life expectancy or giving a prognosis in a chronic cancer like polycythemia vera or in cancers where there's a risk of recurrence but the cancer has a high cure rate such as early stage breast cancer is really tricky because we're constantly developing new treatments um, but we don't have long-term follow-up on those treatments. And so we have to make guesses about life expectancy um, and prognosis. In the case of polycythemia vera, we have good news. A study uh, that was initially published in 2021 specifically tried to answer the question, how much have we improved life expectancy in management of polycythemia vera in the era of multiple new treatments that are highly effective? What we're looking at here is life expectancy in the black line of a healthy population. The red line is life expectancy as reported in the SEER database. Estimated life expectancy in patients with polycythemia vera receiving current management, with current management. So if you look at the red line here, we have probability overall survival over time that puts the um, median overall survival at 15.8 years. Now, if you look over here at the with current management, that puts the overall um, survival at 26.6 years. Now, it is a little bit below the expected life expectancy, um, but not, not statistically significant. It's also important to understand that when you look at data like this, this is a median. And for an individual patient, we can risk stratify, make more accurate predictions about what that specific patient can expect. For more information about blood.